Hello everyone and welcome to round one coverage here at the Delaware Disc Golf Challenge, the fifth of six national tour events here in 2019. We are gonna get you started with some FPO action with the quick turnaround from Worlds, Katrina Allen opting off the feature card, but she would have her game today. Starting off seven down through the first 15 holes, the only trouble she would find on holes 16 and 17 where she would find bogeys and double bogeys respectively. Here she is on 18 though, and she would get it turned around. Look at that shot dead down the center of the fairway, putting herself in perfect position for a routine little sidearm hyzer up to the pin. She would be sitting pretty for a birdie, putting her at five under par for the round, leading the event by two strokes. No shocker seeing dominance out of Katrina, but so quickly after a tough loss, Katrina says, I've found the best way to attack things that are going wrong is to try something different and go back and try that out at the course. Katrina, one of the seasoned veterans, has been touring for a long time and knows there's always more tournaments. Kristen Tatar has been all over headlines since making her tour here in the States this season. Can't quite knock in the birdie on one, but she would play a very clean round after that. Here she is on hole three, getting it started right up the middle, leaving a pretty short sidearm on the shortened par four. Able to sneak in the putt for the birdie three. Now hole eight, the tricky par five, and this is just Iron Hill at its core. Kristen throwing the clean drive, but does catch a tree. Then the sidearm second catches another tree, but scramble golf does prevail. Kristen would take the birdie and look rather comfortable in the woods. Um, I like playing in the woods, and I like technical shots, and I really enjoy playing uh, in technical courses, so I think the fact that I like it so much like gives me some kind of advantage. I don't know. <laughs> Tatar's putting would save her on multiple occasions here on 10 and here on 11 with the good par saves. Sitting at two under through 13, she would look to get the scoring started on the tough 300 foot straight hole 14. Good putt there, seals the deal on the birdie hole 15. Stepping on the tee, zero birdies in the FPO division. Kristen, she doesn't need stats. One of 13 women to get the birdie today. Hole 18, and this is when the rain started to pick up. Most of the FPO division avoided it. Tatar is going to slide in with a three under par, setting herself in second place heading into tomorrow. Um, no, I'll stick to my game plan, and you never know what will happen in the woods. You just have to be prepared for scramble, uh, and that's what I try to do. Sitting five over through nine holes, a strong back nine, and a few bogeys from Holly Finley would put Michelle Frazier on lead card entering round two. If you haven't heard of her, I don't blame you. She doesn't get out of the Pennsylvania region much, but when she plays, she wins. Michelle's got a 58% career win rate, and in recent past, even better. 2017 winning 80% of her events, 70 in 2018. Our leaderboard after one round, Katrina Allen, Kristen Tatar, Alicia Grace Schaefer, and Michelle Frazier are gonna make up that lead card, all within seven strokes. Five-time world champion Elaine King and Sarah Holcomb, Jessica Weiss, and aforementioned Holly Finley are gonna be on that chase card. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I hope you support all of our media producers here at the Delaware Disc Golf Challenge.